guys, welcome to the exploration of yet another, or should I say two, new vehicles. But there's someone who's missing. I think you know who I'm talking about. Hola, great to see you. Hi, Sarah, good to see you again. Now, it's been about a year since you took me for that test drive up on the Schuckel in the electric G. <laughs> I missed out on Sweden, but Marie filled in. <laughs> Now we're here with two camouflage vehicles. Tell me what's going on today. Well, it's uh, great to be back testing some cars. And that uh, G experience was, it was fun, right? It was very fun, A little yeah. bit scary? A little bit scary, yeah. yeah but we handle all situations. <laughs> you did. So today we're in Immendingen, our test track south of Stuttgart. And we're looking at this fantastic new uh, CLA here, fully electric next generation vehicle that ushers in an era of a whole generation of new vehicles for Mercedes. The engineers have been really smart here. They have developed a modular platform where we have also a brand new hybridized electrified combustion version of the okay. car also coming. Okay, sounds very promising. Absolutely. Most intelligent car that we've ever made. Supercomputer on board, sensors everywhere, artificial intelligence-based software. It feels like this is the complete package. You know, Ola, one thing that really stuck out to me in the design concept was the headlights. Now, I know these are still camouflage, but can you give us a hint? What can we expect? Absolutely. Design is super important to us. And of course, our designers, they love those little details. So when they look at the headlight, of course, the headlight has a function, but it's also a piece of art. Mm. It's like like a jewelry uh, on the car. So you have love this jewelry. sleek, sporty shape, but the headlights, especially at night, it's the first thing you see. It's just got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. Can I can I take a look? Should we take a peek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do okay, it. may I? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Well, those artists did not disappoint us, did they? That's looking pretty sharp. Not at all. And do you see the cues here to the Mercedes stars with those beautiful pieces oh, of glass? Oh, I love that. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah. yeah. But it's also high performance. Uh, a headlight is all about safety. You know, at night, you want to be able to, in a very, very, very precise way, make sure that you see everything you need to see, but also not blind people that are coming in the other direction. This is important. So it's it's an intelligent uh, headlight, not just light and not just beauty. Doesn't just look cool, it also works. Well, I can't wait to put it to the test. Shall we take a spin? Let's do it. Okay, where, where are we going? I think we start with the electric one. All right, let's do it, but you're driving a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, safety first. Safety first. Hey, Mercedes, how are you? All the better for hearing your voice. Hey, who is this? So this is your Mercedes virtual assistant. It's like you have a butler in the car that is Love at your that. service and can answer questions and help you operate the car or any other question that you might have. I have always wanted a butler. Yeah, this is this is MBOS, Mercedes-Benz operating system. Okay. Uh, in its full first version. So every digital feature that you can possibly think of, you'll probably find in this car. So Ola, where are we? So we're in Immendingen. Uh, this is a small town about an hour south of Stuttgart. Okay. And this is the test track for Mercedes-Benz. Uh, it's probably the best test track in the world. Uh, we got this huge, huge area to create and recreate roads, pretty much any road condition that you can think of. You can go off-road here. You can go city driving here. You can, you can go high speed here. You can do handling maneuvers almost on a small racetrack. Uh, so this is, this is the place where uh, these cars go through thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers of harsh testing before we launch them. Okay, so this is where the cars come, you put them through the paces, and then you deliver them to the consumer. Exactly, exactly. I mean, Mercedes, since forever, has been known for 
extreme testing. Yeah. I mean, extreme. I got a taste of that up yeah. at the shop. E- extreme today. heat in the <laughs> desert, uh, extreme cold uh, in uh, in northern Sweden, just south of the Arctic Circle. I saw that video. Uh, so so we do it all. We shake the vehicles, everything that you can uh, possibly uh, think of. Uh, these cars have to go through uh, before we start production. Uh, since, of course, one of the reasons why you buy a Mercedes, it, it's a car that lasts. It sure is. Okay, so out of all of these different testing conditions and grounds, which one is your favorite? The handling track. Yeah. Yeah. So you take it out. Yeah, you can. You can be. You can be your own Lewis Hamilton for a little while wow. and, just, and just see what you can do. Okay, my own driving style is much more like Granny hunched over the wheel than Lewis Hamilton, so I'm glad you're driving us today. I cannot wait to get a taste of this. No, so even though I'm a petrol head, in the meantime, I prefer the electric car. So, really? I mean, yeah, so my everyday driver, I mean, I love the sound of the V8 and all that yeah. no question that gives you goosebumps. For everyday driving, first of all, it's quiet. So you mm. drive in the city, it's completely quiet. Yeah. You have this immediate response. All right, here we go. This is not even the AMG version. No, it only gets better yeah, from here. Yeah, imagine what that's going to feel like. Oh, I don't know if I'm up for testing yeah. that. But still, do you feel how quiet this is? It's very quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's quiet, it's smooth. We're not feeling uncomfortable at all. No, and it feels very safe. Yeah, and even though we're testing the, sorry for that, even if we're testing the, uh, the borders of what the car can do, you could almost be drinking a cup of scorching hot tea in here. <laughs> We're not going to try that today. Uh, no, no, thank you. Now you get a little bit of sense here. So even this, if this is going to be your regular commuter, this is going to be your everyday car, you can take it on the track. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it handles beautifully. Very quiet. Now, Ola, talk me through this two-speed transmission. How does that work? So we have developed a, from the ground up, brand new powertrain for this vehicle. Okay. Uh, And it is extremely efficient, and it works at all driving speeds. And with the two-speed transmission, we can perfectly, perfectly calibrate uh, at every speed that you're driving uh, how that electric motor works, and it makes it even more efficient. Okay, now I know that there was a little charging station and you've conveniently brought us there. Should we get out and take a look at how fast this thing can charge? Let's do it. All right. Okay, a little moment of truth at the charging station. How fast is it? Incredibly fast. We have developed a high power charging system for this particular car so that charging almost becomes like fueling, yeah. Very, very, very fast. It sounds like we're not even going to have time to have the cup of coffee I was hoping for. It's quick, but an espresso, maybe? Espresso's a deal. Shall we? Let's do it. 